Coffee with Guys here with Luis Montejo. Thank you, sir. Hey, I appreciate you coming on. You know, it's very exciting. Usually, you're in the other side of the camera. I'm usually always sitting right there. You know, but you, I'm going to say you have a face for TV wow. and a voice for radio. Wow. You, you're the complete package, sir. I just weigh 135 pounds. If I can gain a little weight, I'd probably be the complete package, but I'll take it. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, that SADA contract, we're going to get you mom. going to lock it in, dude. Actually, the only suit that I own is a SADA suit. Well, that's a lie. I, I, I actually, I my tuxedo's from, uh, Amit, um, uh, what's the place that? Satori Amici. Ah. Sebastian Garcia. Great clothing store, great. by the way. Great. That's my own. Two that locations. One and my Sada suit are the only two suits that I have. You know, the thing with Sada, and uh, I don't blame you at all, I'm a little jealous. Value mm. by far best clothing. I just don't know. I don't like that clientele. Excuse me, I have ice in my mouth. I'm not a fan of the clientele at the Sada and Dayland. The clientele, or I mean, well, you can't control that. Can't it's, control that. It's a mall. Correct. For open for anybody. <laughs> but it's and unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I just rather not go. I'm not, I'm not, I like the clothes. I'm just not going to go to the store. You know, maybe a good idea would be to do a little coffee with guys. There's a Starbucks actually in front of Sada. Maybe we can do some stuff outside where we can just kind of do some some people watching, which is my favorite sport. Dude, that's by the way. a great segment. I've retired from. Actual sports and now people watching is a favorite pastime. I've like, retired from people and now I only watch them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we're just uh, keep keep the space, man. Keep the space. Yeah, right? like I, I realize I don't like people as much. As I'm a germaphobe. The Lou, there's so many things I want to talk about, but let's go back to it. You are Lewis and I am Gaz, and I'm thankful. Well, we're, you are Lewis and I am Lewis, and together we are. No, no. It's just the fact that there's two there's two of us with the same name. Correct. I can now really enforce. And leverage the nickname that is yes. being thrown on the uh, the logo, the Gaz. So, I think Gaz is such a unique nickname because of the letter Z. I think people with the letter Z in their last name, they have an edge on people. There's right. this uh, exotic quality that they have. If it's at the end of the name, like a Hernandez, Fernandez, Alvarez, mm -hmm. okay. But if it's in the third letter of the name Gazatua. And it's surrounded by vowels. It's sandwiched. Gaz. Yeah, sir. Yeah, you're sandwiched by that means that it's like the Z is like important here. I love it. You know what? I'm gonna and there's only about eighteen of us. So we're there's all only eighteen Gazatuas. That I know of. I mean I'm no I mean, on, on actually on LinkedIn and is it Facebook. true that you're the least intense Gazatua? Um, no. I'm not sure. You've only seen me this is a work environment, sir. So I'm always gonna true. be a little bit That's true. I need to keep my you need to reel it in a little bit. I'm being a leader right now. Good. good. We're trying to get Appreciate some leadership, some content, and it's 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 cool. And, and obviously, we have a great relationship, but we've known each other for a while. You getting and hearing your side of the story, mm -hmm. and obviously, the goal here is just to bring out the, the different culture, the different personalities. It, yeah. It's not about um, gas or anything else, but you got a pretty cool story. Yeah, I think. I mean, maybe. You know what? What I like about you the most is. Uh, it, when we have conversations, is your ability to kind of ask questions, right? You, I you, think you, inquiring is is crucial to because uh, I like to understand the full scope of where you're coming from, and and, and and so do I. And and I think being able to to really think not not just really question assumptions, right? I don't like when people are like, oh well, this is that, man, it's just the way it is. It's like I don't disagree with you, but I want to know how you arrived there or, or why. At yeah, why? Me, I mean, and, and I think if you... People mistake that for being uh, confrontational or um, insub uh, insubordinate. Sure. And I'm not. I just, like, what's your thought process? Like, how did you get to that? Because, it, mind you, we live in a society that's hot taking. And, and we love hot takes. Well, but we, we do here. Hot, we takes, do love. hot takes generally, like, if you're building your life on presumptions, is kind of dangerous. You know, but, but going back to that, because of where we're at, as a society in this hot tech this society. This is deep. No, let's get there. It's, you know, well, there's no longer something called the healthy debate. Like, you got to pick a side, right? Yeah, what's, what's, yeah. What's yeah, wrong with this? Either, it's either, you know, left or right. Why can't we just have a conversation? We, You know, it is, by the way, FYI, it is possible to, to agree to disagree. Correct. Without... You know, Any animosity. Certain, or exactly. personal. You know, and, and, and I think if I'm going to take a deeper dive into this conversation is, and, or this thought is because we don't question, we don't, we don't know enough to actually take positions, right? If you can't explain something clearly, yeah. you don't know, you don't know, you do not know enough about the actual topic. 
Correct. Uh, I think what's the saying? If you can't say it in one sentence, like the whole point of everything that you're trying to say, you can't really. Or, or if you can't explain uh, your point to someone in a in a way where you're not combative, you probably don't know the topic in which you're defending. And when we get to that point, and, and if someone it's a lot to unpack here, it is. I'm I'm actually digesting what you just said right now. <laughs> I am digesting. And I am taco. full. And I am full, sir. Good. Good. No, but it, but going back to that, it's true. And then when you and if you want to take it to that, that second level of let's just get beyond the hot take, where you ask somebody why do you feel that way, then it becomes I haven't even had that much thought about it. I haven't had time to pro- there, so I can't even give you a response. Well, okay, so then let's take a step. Let's take a step back, right? So it's like how are people processing information? We, I think part of it is because we're digesting information so quickly that we assume that we can process the information at the same pace. It's a good point. And the truth is, you can't. It's a good point. So you're I mean, intake now. We get things so fast, correct? And so much information. And you're intaking a lot of data. And the truth is, your brain does not process it as fast as the world's giving it to you. And it's okay to not know something fully. Like, I tell people all the time, I, don't, I can't engage, like, I would love to engage in this conversation. I just don't know more about the topic. You know, but, well, oh, that, but how do you feel? That, that's, I don't, I, if I tell you how, I, it's, like, it's like if I wake up and you tell me right off the bat, how do you feel today? I'm like, bro, maybe if I, you know, put my clothes on, you know, like maybe if after the shower, like I feel different after a shower. Like, let me shower first and I'll tell you what's up. Uh, for me, it's before I have my coffee. Hence, uh, that, coffee that, that's gas. another thing. I mean, <laughs> the, <laughs> the biggest thing is like, don't add, I, I, told, I, I my, my wife is a saint, but she knows to not inquire too much prior to my coffee. And it's not, I'm not trying to be mean or anything or rude. It's just, dude, I'm not awake. You don't have enough information. You don't have enough information and or feelings to to yet form an opinion of how I feel. Correct. You know, it's funny. I'm thorough. Hey, someone asks you, "Hey, how's it going today?" What do you say? Great. Good. There's sometimes I catch myself saying, "I don't even know." Okay, so I, I mix sa- it up on you, no, right now. dude. I I I I went through a season where I was I was like, dude, you know what? Today I'm not okay. And people were like. Blown away, oh, right? Uh, Wait a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna, ha- we're, uh, oh my god, we're gonna have an actual in depth conversation. Let's run away. Yeah. Hey, are we- <laughs> well, that, that's we were just before the cameras were rolling, we we're talking about like my type of personality is because I'm always on. Yeah. The days that, not that I'm not on, but the days that I'm just like normal, people are like, oh, what's up with you, bro? Like, oh, you're in a bad mood? <clears throat> I'm like, nah, too. dude. Like, it happens to me as well. I'm just human, bro. Yeah. Humanity. Uh, uh, yeah, we Norm- can edit that normal- part. Of it. Normality. <laughs> <laughs> Think we have a great editing team. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Thank God that I'm the editor here. Um, so going back to what we had talked about prior, we had a, we were having a conversation about AQ, adaptability. Uh, well, the well, Q in IQ is quotient, so adaptability I, quotient. Well, I mean, actually, we haven't even got into the AQ yet. I'm just I'm just trying to stab it. You're trying to get into it. I thought we were doing some 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 pregame. You know, well, we were discussing about the lack of in-depth conversations. Correct. Right? And the ability to just to have a healthy debate and be able to choose a side and not necessarily be so, um, you know, pivoted into like, to picking. Like, I, it, I, it is possible to be in the middle. Right? I don't have to pick a side, man. I don't think you have to either. There's some topics that you should, that, that, like, I have certain convictions that, like, I am stoic about. Like, I just believe this about this. Okay. It is what it is, bro. Like, I've... But I can guarantee you, if I am fixed on a position, at least in my heart, in my mind, I have done my due diligence of, like... I'm, I question things. And it doesn't come from a point of, I don't trust you. It's just, you should do... You should do your part and, like, research. Like, Google it. Well, you know... Right? It's, <laughs> it, well, it's... Google true, it, man. It's not, I, Google has more answers than you do. It, it's funny. Once I started being a little more self-aware and started really questioning assumptions per se because I, I think you want to be successful what, what's what's considered success and it's all different to everybody else but then you start looking at hey I want to be the first one or I want to make something different or I want to do this but everybody kind of just feels like the the asking the question why or looking at things a little bit different I, I think you start to get a different perspective you should be you start, you start to become more creative like questioning yeah. assumptions is going to push consistently push creative innovation like the fact that we did certain things a certain way and we don't understand why i think it's a big problem i well, think, I, a, think it, I think people in general just fall into line and they should be asking why we do certain things and i to add to that a lot of it has to do with the fact that people do not want to admit that they don't know something ego right and 
I mean, I, if you listen to a lot of our the stuff that we film, and I've listened to all of it because I've filmed all of it, we talk a lot about ego, and it kind of is a common denominator between, you know, kind of like some of the the gaps in like where we are and where we should be. Some something with ego it lies in between as a as a boundary of that. Yeah, like I could sit here like. You can coach me through. Like if Gaz sits me down and says, I'm talking to you in third person. But if you sit me down, you're like, dude, you know, you coach me through X, Y, Z. I'm going to listen to you. You know what I mean? Like I don't have ego with that. But then what about if, you know, Johnny over there who's younger than me, he hasn't experienced some of the things I have experienced, tries to coach me through something. I may have a harder time because I'm like, oh, I don't want this kid to think that he can blah, 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 blah. But part of that is like understanding that Johnny has been able to talk me through a situation despite his age or despite his lack of experience in certain areas or whatever, um, I just learned that it is more beneficial. If I'm at my most selfish, it's more beneficial for me to uh, receive everything and process it no, no matter who the medium is. Like whatever, yeah. whoever's telling me this information is irrelevant. If the info is good, it's good. But if Johnny tries to sit me down and give me like marriage advice, I may question it. I but do. if he tells me, Hey, you're kind of being a dick to your wife. Probably don't be a dick to your wife. It doesn't matter who's telling you that. He's right. You know what I mean? So ego doesn't play a part in that. So ego tends to be, at least in what I've discovered and like at least filming you guys and learning about you guys and being really close to, you know, to, to everybody here, it tends to be the biggest boundary between people getting, uh, closing the gap on the dissonance between who they are and who they want to be. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a hot take. That's a freaking scorching. That's a, that's the a thing though. Like that, that's not even a hot take. A hot take, it's like that's that's another thing, right? Like where we've become going back to your society, your, your society points. It's like we've become such a society of um, where we detest truth, right? I just want my truth. I just want oh, that's true for you, bro. No, truth is absolute. Like there's some things that are true, bro. If you if you treat the person who you work with every day badly, you're going to have a poor relationship and the output of your work is going to be poor. Yeah. It's just what it is, right? It's common sense. It's just common sense. But people are like, oh, well, yeah, and mind you, there's some topics that are, um, I guess, more subjective and there's some, some things that opinion, like not everything's black and white, right? But some things are black and white. Yeah, you think that, you know, going back to the truth, I think a lot of it has to do with like just honestly, more people being more self-aware of, of it, right? Like it's, most the, the fear of being exposed and come and, and I think there's so many layers like from, from an I think step one is just understanding who you are but so many times you're trying to you're trying to portray something else and not who you are that you create the, all these different layers you get lost in that process well you get you 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 lose and, and it's funny like you lose who you are it's the game telephone right I, I say things 10 different times like I forgot wait a minute where, Correct. Where was I? You're like it's like two. Yeah, I'm two, three, four lines in. Yeah. So I mean, le- like let's connect a couple dots here, right? So like, it's funny that you're saying like uh, like the, the common theme right now in this conversation is the self awareness and the lack of self awareness that like most people have, which leads to the inability to have healthy conversations, in depth conversations, because there's, there's a fear to be exposed. Of why do you even feel a certain way? Like I am convinced most people, and I love this subtle challenge of asking people why. Right? There's people that are really hard on certain stances, and I just like asking the question, why? And the response is, because you lost me. I, I, like, you lost me right there. If that I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, if I'm being honest with you. I have I a hope couple, you are. I hope I have a couple honest, honest. I have a couple stances in which I'm very fixed on. Very fixed on. But I can guarantee you that everything that I'm very fixed on has come from, I'm going to use the word years, but it, it, it could be longer, it could be shorter years of me really polishing that and making sure a lot of people don't do a lot of self um reflection reflection correct where they're asking themselves why do i believe the things that i believe right. like i personally am a man of faith right um but i didn't just arrive there we didn't grow up in a house where we practice our faith i arrived to a point where it was presented to me from people who were fixed in their position i questioned why and i wasn't turned away from the the why portion. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I wasn't told, oh no, 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 no. We don't say why. Don't ask why. You just you just you know you just go and you do this and but, believe but, this and believe that. But wasn't that so much that was so important. I'm just, that's so important in terms of how to how they dictated making your own decisions. Well, well correct. It showed me the confidence in the person who was giving me the information. Correct. Like if you allow me okay if, if Gaz tells me 
X, Y, Z about a certain topic, and it's just the way it is, bro. And I'm gonna be like, bro, but like, how come that happened that way? And you give me a response, it just is. Like, if you give me one of those, like, shut me off, I don't want your whys, I lose confidence in in in, in, in the information that you're in, giving me. Well, the information because of that, there's no depth to it. It's there's there's no really there's much there's not much context to it, which I'm the same way as well. When I hear that, I I am more than ever. Uh, being 37 years old. And how old are you? You're I'm 20? 27. We had a 10 year gap. 10 year gap. Right. Nice to know that. Nice little decade. Nice. And I want to get into something about your, 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 your transition in terms of coming here and some differences. Mm-hmm. But that, that 10 year difference or that 10 year gap between us, like I am now more than ever more confident in asking the question why. And it, it's, it's always been something inherent to me. Like I've always looked at it certain different. Even watching. And I'm, and I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass no, when I'm not, asking not, why. Not. I just need more. I need more depth. I like the, I the need, conversations need to be the here, like okay. interest me. Here, I, and I think you'll agree with me with this. Let's say we're talking about a topic, and you're going to give me a definitive answer, an absolute answer. Yes, X Y Z is exactly this way. It's just the way it is. Yeah, I'm about to make a decision that's going to affect the trajectory of the rest of my life. Right? Okay. I'm gonna. I, you better make damn sure. That that decision, that specific decision is is right. You better do yourself do yourself the courtesy of the next twenty years might be affected because of the information that Gaz just gave me. I'm just gonna believe it blindly. You know what I mean? We live in a society where there's more information at our, our at our disposal uh, very quickly. I could do anything. I can I can research any topic within the next three minutes. Yeah, but it's funny how you you brought up a point. No one talks about our ability to basically break down that information. It's too much. So, oh there, yeah, there, yeah. There's kind of a flip side to it. Like now, what's the excuse? The information is available on your phone right now, right? But we're getting it so much that you, we we still haven't adapted yet to how to process that. We and and the the issue is we're not going to be able to, man. No, it's gonna get, it's gonna it's gonna continue our Informa- our CPU, right? It can't not, be upgraded. No, no, I can't. You could can't. upgrade your phone. I could upgrade the internet. I could upgrade. You know what I mean? Like, if I look out there, let's say there's a million people in that direction. Everybody's tweeting and Instagramming and posting and doing everything, and I love it, dude. I love. I'm highly. I'm very savvy in, in, in the tech in the, with technology and all that stuff. I, you I, are techie. I like it. I really do like it because I do think that the sharing of information is is important. But I have to. I also came to a point in my life where I'm like, I can't process all of this. I, you, and you're not gonna. What, what are you gonna upgrade your 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 brain? No, it's not. Mind you, is, is there gonna be a day where there's okay, something? But, but what, what's that one tool that that gets you to process it? I think it's qu- taking a step back and questioning why. Not enough people. Not many people want to do take a well, step back and really research why it's being said. Like, well, it, it, b- before you ask why, you have to like make sure that you're choosing the right things to process. Like picking your battles. Pick like what are some of the th- like I don't need to know like okay like the uh, some information that I don't care about. I'm not gonna name a topic because uh, God forbid I name something. You know. No, no, mean? hold on. Let's uh, bowling. Bowling, world champion bowling. Bro, I don't care, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna research it. I'm not gonna. All right, bro. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, he's yeah. the hey, guy, hey, Jimmy Jimmy V. He's the best bowler like, in the you, planet. You're gonna go by the story. Click, click, click. Yeah, click, I'm click. gonna be like, great, right. done. Right. But you, you know, you could choose to dive into that. No, you you pick you pick and choose like the things you're gonna process and do all those things. But bes- that's besides the point. I think the bigger point that we're trying to make here is our inability to be, or I think people's lack of self awareness. Right is pretty much the biggest inhibitor of them, you know, kind of like. Dude, it, it is an epidemic. They have, people don't the have lack any. Of that should be on uh, top five most uh, most wanted. Does that even make sense anymore? Like, like the FBI, the guy who the, like the FBI. Uh, it, it's one, two, three, four. I don't know. One, two, three, four is probably the worst people in the world. <laughs> but number five is going to be the lack of <laughs> like self awareness. Like he's thirst. Lack of self awareness. Like lack of self awareness. That like that is three or four. I mean, it, it is incredible. Well, here's the thing. I f- I've, I found myself victim to that. Like, not victim, but like as a suspect, I guess, like as a, as a person who has lack of self-awareness. Yeah, but, but that's, that, I think it's maturity though as well, right? It's yeah, a, you grow- maturity. It's, I mean, I don't expect anybody to have 16, 18, I mean, with uh, with a bunch of stuff going here's on, a, have that a, IQ. Well, here's a good example of people with self lack of self-awareness. When I look at my generation, right, I'm a millennial, right? That's between 1980 and 1994. Uh, I'm a late millennial. I'm 92. But... I, I get to work closely with a lot of people who are my age and they're 
late to mid 20s and a lot of people who are in their mid 20s to early 20s it's this whole you know the last i have a nice little range of people who i i associate with and what i notice a lot with the younger generations and now i sound old and i don't want to date myself here but like i was this i was this person at some point is this lack of self-awareness has manifested itself into a um, kind of like a necessity for affirmation, right? Where I can't, like where if you don't affirm me, I'm, I'm working for you, I'm 22 years old, and yeah. I'm working for Gaz, and Gaz didn't say hi to me today. He hates me. And the truth Johnny, is, Johnny, is that you? No, that's not, that's not Johnny. Uh, he's 21. He's 20, I don't know how old he's, 20, oh, 23. 23, 23. My bad, he's sorry. <laughs> um, he graduated. So, so, but, but then sorry. he graduated. Um, so, you, you know, you find, but these are just symptoms, right? Like they, they, they need a lot of affirmation. We need a lot of, I'm going to say we, we need a lot of affirmation. We need, um, you know, we, we value our skill set higher than where it probably should be, where people think, well, because I'm good at this, I deserve this position. And I'm not going to do anything unless, oh, what do you mean? Like my, you know what I mean? Like it's just, and it really boils down to lack of self. And Gary V, who, you know, we, we partner up with, you know, with the Vayner Media and all them. And so we, I've been digesting a ton of Gary V. Like, dude, if you're before the age of 30, like shut up and grind. Like I tell kids all the time, like I, 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 there's one kid that I, nah, he's not a kid, he's kind of in his early 20s, but, you know, he was telling me about like, you know, I want this, you know, I have this dream gig and blah, 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 blah. And like, I, I turned down this offer. I'm like, you turned down, what do you, what do you mean, bro? Like, mm-hmm. you, who do you think you are, man? I, but, but that goes, I mean, I'm, but not, then, but, I'm not but, an expert. I'm not going to go into that. I'm a little older, but you, dude, I see it, but that's an epidemic. Like it's, it's an epidemic. It, it's manifesting itself and it's getting more and more as everyone's going now into the quote unquote workforce. I mean, uh, man, I'll go on a huge rant about universities and colleges and, and what they're doing as far as, like, there's not a real, it's just funny, you, you I think you, you grow up and you live in a bubble and then you get to the real world and now nothing else matters. Like, it, do, nothing else about, matters and there's people who do, like, there's people out there who do this way better than I do it. Well, of course. Well, and for all of us, you know, I, I'm a big believer and- But and opportunity- I heard, well, well, go back to, I heard this quote and, and this makes sense and, and I want to- Man, I got a little fired up the idea about it, but you know, no matter what, the word talent gets thrown around like often. I right? believe everybody's talented, man. Dude, talent is equally distributed across the world, but what's not is opportunities. Correct. And that's what we got to focus on. And so, opportunities, like okay, some people, bro, if you mar- if your dad is a billionaire, congrats. Well, okay, consider an opportunity, but but the fact that we're all talented, we got to be more self aware that when you have that opportunity. You need to take advantage of it. Like that's the, well, the that's, whole, a, that's that's a different. I, I mean, that's the whole thing. It's being aware of like, hey, this is a chance to do X. We talk about man, dude. If there's no nobody has it figured out in their twenties. Nobody. No man. Nobody. No. You you. I, I'll tell you what. I'm 27, and I think right now I'm getting to a place where I'm starting to enter into a place where I'm like, oh, I think. I think I believe that I'm st- I mean, I'm I'm entering level one of this is what I'm like this I'm figuring it out a little yeah. bit, and but but look at the opportunity that I have though, I get to do the thing that I love, for a company that means something a lot it means a lot to me like it's personal I mean, it's not just a job right like let's just just call it, let's just call a spade a spade right like my brother in law is one of the letters in Jag, and to me it's personal like I always tell our CEO Melissa COO excuse me I'm always like listen I'm a partner here I'm not a partner. But I'm a partner here. It means that much to me. And that's why... And you get to hang out with me, too. Which, I get to hang out with Gaz every day, and it's, it's big, fantastic. It's a big deal. No, no, it's a big deal, uh, guys. But in all honesty, like, the opportunity, like, how many people... I tell my wife this all the time. How many people get to hang around three CEOs of a company? It, it, it doesn't happen. Bro, we went to lunch yesterday. We we went to shoot a gig, but then we were... <laughs> <laughs> we, we worked, and then we were like, hey, let's go we get food. We were working. We, and again, let's just call a spade a spade, right? Like, I'm sitting in your car, and I'm driving around Coral Gables, which is a prestigious city in Miami. Yeah. And I'm just like, this is crazy. But only self-awareness can tell me, you don't deserve this, but... Well... It, what, what, here, uh, so I'm sure. sorry, yeah, let me, let me not be so... I'm self-deprecating. Uh, but it's like, not that you don't deserve it, but it's that like... Out. Cut that out. But it's like, it, it's... A lot of people don't have this opportunity. So at, at this point, like, just... Ride the wave, bro. You know, you had mentioned to me 
what are the things that you were concerned about? And you do a lot here, various tasks, an evolving task in an evolving department, Correct. an evolving company. Correct. Like there's so many layers to this that you were concerned, like, man, I do a lot of things well, but I'm not, I'm not a master at one thing. Correct. You know, and I think that is one of your biggest advantages. You know, we call it AQ, adaptability. That's your biggest strength. Most, dude, we're moving way too fast as with technology, as a society, that if you're just good at one thing, there's a, there's a good chance that eventually it'll become obsolete. So being able to Correct. be adaptable or adaptability there we go. is going to be kind of, that, that, that is a strength, man. I, you know, somebody who's good at just one thing needs to be self-aware and be concerned about if something's going to change. I just have a lot of um, uh, interest in a lot of things. You know what I mean? Like I know a lot about a little. So what I do is like I'll get obsessed with cups, for example. I'm not obsessed with cups, but I'll get obsessed with cups and then I'll figure out Every cup, every size, every material used for the cup, and then I'm like, all right, I can board and move on. Right, but, but you you looked at that. I think maybe you looked at that more as a as a was it a weakness? I, like I, not, I like, was, it's, like you, know you stressed out about not being able to dominate certain situations, but the fact is being able to to adapt yourself in anything. I dominate in that. You taught me that recently. Like it's like you your ability to adapt to anything. Like I'll like I come in here. Like when I come into work. I don't know if, like, I know what I have to do, but, like, I really don't know if I'm going to be asked to do something el yeah. uh, else. You know what I mean? Right. Um, like, for example, like, we had, again, um, our COO, Melissa, she uh, she was like, hey, help me find a young person for this position. And I was like, I know the perfect person. And, and we filled the position. And Melissa's like, I love that person. Can you help me with this position? And part of that isn't, it, it, it's not about, you know, like my skill in that, like I don't, I'm not like an expert. In, I didn't go to school in hiring. I just, I know how, like I know good people and I know bad people. Like it's just a talent, not a talent, but it's like a skill that I developed. But my, my bigger point here is that there's a lot of, going back to opportunities, right? Like a lot of things in my life gave me opportunities to learn a lot of skills that I thought were going to be useless. And and it's giving you an advantage now in life. Because it's, it's and, interesting. And, and it's... It, 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 I, it has I, its downfalls, well, though. Well, like, I don't know how to fix your Apple ID. No, no. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? you work at Apple? That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, but I do know how to fix I your did. Apple ID. I'm just like, no, no, no. Sell your stock then when you worked there for the, the year I and a half. I did, dude. I did. I did. They, they paid you. They, they would like, oh, it's my phone. They give you like stock. It's like working at Apple is great, but it's a cult. That's a hot thing. Uh, working at Apple is fantastic, but it's a freaking cult, bro. It's so scary. So it's Apple, CrossFit, and then... I'm just kidding. Yeah, Apple's a cult. Just Cross kidding. It's a cult. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. San, San Pellegrino's a cult. San Pellegrino. Perry is not. Perry is not a cult. Perry is kind of but, separating but themselves. Back, back to your point, like, yeah, like I thought that being adapt, like I, I, I never even saw it as being adaptable. Yeah, yeah. I just thought I was like, no, man, but, I know a lot of man, useless like, like everybody skills. says be great at something. Like everyone said, don't don't be a jack of all trades. Like that was almost looked down upon. Jack jack of all trades, master it's of a, none. Exactly, dude. How many times you messed heard that? me up? It it messed you up. I've heard it forever. And then you take a step back and start looking at it where now, and that would that would have been good back in 1965 where you were the best, you know. Printer printers. salesman. They didn't have printers <laughs> back then, but you know what I mean? Like, was there? Or a TV salesman. TV salesman, dude. Like, that's. And, I mean, the point is, it's just everything's working so fast. Sorry, that's my phone. Everything's working so fast that your, your ability to adapt to certain situations, I believe, is going to be kind of one of the biggest skills you're able to do. Like, what we're doing now, and it's cool that we're documenting that. In 10 years from now, it's going to look so different. It's going to look so different. I'm going to look, it's like, it's funny. Like, I was even looking at the stuff that we were recording in March. And I was like, bro, what is this trash, man? Like, mind you, I'm, I'm a super, super crippling critic to myself. Yeah. But, like, I was just looking at it. And I was like, why would I film it that way? Blah, 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 blah. I'm criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. And I think a part of it, you know, I, I thank you to, shout out to Juan. Because he's always like, dude, like, relax. Like, stop being so dang hard on yourself, man. <laughs> you know, we... Let's just call, you know, Juan is, we got to stick to the J-Lo name because... J-Lo. Juan Lopez is a little too, it's a little too John Doe. John Lopez. But J-Lo is J-L-O-W. Yes, we don't not J-Lo. No trademark mm -hmm. infringement on this place. No right? cease and assist. <laughs> Please do not cease Please, and assist. Please, this is, uh, we're just starting. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, dude, y your story's cool. I, I like that. We can talk about this all day. Like we're, I can keep talking. Like Forever. I, I feel like we're having lunch right now, literally, except I'm kind of full. Well, most of the time when, we're, when, when I'm eating lunch with Gaz, I'm like, just tell me some funny stuff. 
And guys are like, cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Well, this is coffee with guys. This is not, you know, my com- my comedy stand-up routine, which I am working on. And you will be invited to my debut. I'm Amy Improv. It's going to be a 50-person, very quaint um, you should. You should have five minutes. I'm only gonna invite the people that spot. laugh at everything I say, just to build up. Let my me tell hype. you, like, let, you're let's, coming. Listen, J Lo's right coming. Now. Johnny's coming. Going back, and whoever you bring, better think I'm funny because yes. that's a lot of pressure. Going back to your adaptability comment and me having stupid useless skills. I've been watching stand-up comedy, which I shouldn't, mom. You should not have let me watch it, but it made me who I am today. Since I was like seven years old, like on Comedy Central, like watching stand-up comics adults delivering adult jokes mm-hmm. and me trying to conceptualize and understanding what they're saying. Okay. I consider myself, and this is a self-title, I don't care what anybody says, like, not an expert in comedy, but, like, I take comedy very seriously, like, comedy, comedy, which is why when, like, comedians get in trouble for jokes, I'm like, dude, relax. It's comedy. Like, the technical side of it? Um, Dude, I just, like, I've been, I've seen stand-up comics on Comedy Central and I'm like, that guy's not funny. And then like I'll hear, but, like I'll watch a podcast, you, and then they'll talk about that comic, and they're like, I, I think anybody who's ever walked on any stage, I have the utmost, utmost respect, respect for them. Yes, that's a different thing. By far, most difficult professions is to stand up and deliver something you think is funny, and be able to connect with an audience yeah. on the whim within 30 seconds. It, it actually just, makes me cringe. It makes me. Cr- it's make. It makes me cringe. But I've seen. I've seen a lot of live comedy. And a lot of comics just kind of like devolve into like the common jo- like if it's if you're making a Trump joke on stage today like not nothing with nothing with or against Trump like I don't care it's but lo- it's just it's like it's that's, that's cheap it's, it's low hanging fruit. fruit bro that's cheap so my fruit. point in saying all that is I, know what you mean. I think with my comedic expertise you're funny bro uh, you know what I appreciate and that I know that that's I know exactly watching, why you're on coffee with guys people, no, <laughs> people watching this are gonna be like oh there he goes inflating there his there he goes and I'm like no nah, dude you guys are missing some opportunity here guys is not like I'm not like listen like there's people who try to be funny all the time and I'm just like oh, that's cute and I'm like I'm not gonna give you the time of day to think that you're funny you're I'm not, funny dog I, I'm, thanks man I'm, I'm not but first of all I'm not trying that's the funny. point Underrated. I'm just I'm uh, mad about that. Uh, yeah. No, know, but going going so talking about so adaptability. We'll go back to that. So adaptability. My biggest challenge is going to be how I turn to selling insurance to being a stand-up comic. Comic. Dude, that's a trend. That's you're going to be in the trend. See, what you I don't have, know oh, is that we're actually going to get you in the podcast. <laughs> Fern's going to get you in the podcast. Fern's going to get me we'll on. Make it about baseball. Man, I would love to get on. You know, this is my my. Uh, this is a test to see if Fernie actually watches Coffee with Guys. Fernie, get me on your podcast, bro. I need you. I want to. He get won't on. ask you why. I promise you. I need, I need to get on there. I need to get on I'll there. I'll talk them off the cliff. Dude, um, we this is an interesting conversation. Like, literally, this is what we do every day, and it's Juan's filming us, and that's cool. That's very cool. Let's um, let's do this again. But I didn't ask you, what do you, what do, you, how do, you do you drink coffee? You I drink, drink coffee. a lot of you coffee. Drink a lot, yeah? I drink a lot of coffee. Hey, by the way, you probably drink too much coffee. Just throwing it out there. That's yeah. Me and Kevin <laughs> Casatua, we are pretty much kind of up there in the coffee drinking I, department. I mean, whenever I walk by the kitchen, you are crushing the coffee machine. Here's the thing, like, so I've made, I've cut in a couple areas, right? So at home, uh, every day at eleven o'clock at night, not eleven o'clock on the dot, but like I, right before I go to bed, I prepare my coffee for the next day. So I, on the way here, on my commute That's here, super. Uh, that's me being an adult. Man, I mean, you're setting yourself up for success the next day. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't have time to make coffee the next day. I need, I need to just press a button. And like, right what out. I do is I iron my clothes. I know j would like that. Like I, I kind of iron and, and I set it up just to kind of not think about it. Hit the ground running. Yeah. Love so it, man. Love how, do it. I, how do I take my coffee? I My morning coffee is just black with a little bit of sugar in the raw. I don't like white sugar. I don't mess with white sugar. I do sugar in the raw. It's a little sprinkle. I do one teaspoon, mix it in, boom. That's my commute. When I get here, I'm done with that coffee. And then I have my coffee. It's funny. I'm, I'm on the same routine because here. But shot, I changed shot, it up. Shot to Barbara. Yeah, she's a queen. Shot to Barbara. Wherever she's at. By the way. Coffee n- queen. Now we're at two big coffee <laughs> machines. We, we, if we do an audit, let me tell you something. If you want to see, don't look at my P&Ls. Don't look at any financials, but. Go into someone's kitchen and see how much coffee they're making. Yeah, they're making a lot of coffee. That's going to tell you how big. How, that's going to tell you where the company's Correct. going. Correct. We got two Ferrari. I don't even know how to say this. I'm just going to say it the way I would say it. Keurig? Two big ass tanks of coffee oh, being wow. brewed Beep. in the morning. <laughs> it's just be, it's just ass. But so the coffee that I have here is different. I like to change it up. No, no, me too. Me too. The coffee here, unfortunately, is a little weak for my taste. No one's fault. 
It's just a coffee. I know what coffee it is. It's Dunkin' Donuts. You, you be, you've been working out? What's going on, man? No, nah, dude. I just, I know my coffee. So what I do is that I make, I learned how to make Cuban coffee out of necessity. Look at what necessity births, birthed, excuse me. Dude, learned adaptability. Make, adaptability right there. Wow. So I make Cuban coffee. So then I get my, I got my <laughs> cup of joe. It's about, it's about yay big, right? And then two shots of Cuban coffee. Boom. I like the hazelnut creamer. Okay. No sugar. Don't add sugar to it. Can't do that. Too much sugar. The sugar still kills you. And then if I have Cuban coffee at two or three when they make it, I get the no sugar. Because the sugar is what makes you crash, not the caffeine. I agree. The caffeine will just bring you up and then it'll level you out. And then it's just, you know, you can't get off of it. The sugar is what gets you really up and then you crash really hard. And when I crash, I'm done, dude. You broke the record for the explanation of coffee intake and coffee I, I, gas. Bro, I've, heard so, <laughs> I've heard so many people do like black. Oh, I like coffee. And it's like, dude, come on. Like, talk about your coffee. The coffee is... If it's something you do every day, see, that is a little in-depth, man. We're having in-depth conversation. It wasn't just... It's not just like, oh, I like my coffee with sugar. Sugar in the raw, specifically. If you give me white... Like, I, I don't buy white sugar. There's no white sugar in my crib. And I gotta find funny. it. Well, I, I stay... I pick my battles. I'm not into the sugar at all. You're a cream-only guy. I am. That's... <laughs> Blew my mind, dude. dude I, I, I'm like John Wayne. I'm the John Wayne of insurance. Just like cowboy dude walking in. I'm the John Black Wick coffee of coffee. Just walk in with a strut and just let's go, man. This is shoot, shoot from, from the, the hip. Blast whatever that is. I'm drinking it. Folgers, slamming hams. Uh, Dun the last year Folgers owns Dunkin' Donuts. Whatever it is, man. Let's go. That's that. That, that, man. Another episode of coffee and gas talking about coffee only, but that not today. But uh, so we talked hey, about adaptability. Adaptable. We, we recap. This has been a. Uh, we should do this at the end of every show. A plethora. This has been a. Should we shoot another one? Orgish board. Juan, look us up. Is this is that a word? Smorgasbord. Is it orgish board or smorgasbord? How do you, how do I say this to you? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Can we? Uh, Smor smore. Smor. What is it? Smor smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Okay. So. The fact that I was able to even try to pronounce that, it's a win. It's a win. It's a win. I got better today. Got better today on that. Hey man, we did it. We just had a good episode. I'm excited. It's not the. Uh, yeah, what's funny? What the viewers aren't like. And listen, man, I don't know who's viewing these. Bro. Not me either. <laughs> just my mom. <laughs> but I don't care. I got my mom, my wife, and then your Lily's gonna watch it. My too. mom's gonna watch the whole thing, and she's gonna call me crying like, "Papi, I'm so proud of you." But the thing, bro, like I'm like I I, I love producing these just because like you get like you get people who are so uncomfortable on camera. And mind you, I'm always on the other side of the camera. But I'm just like, bro, like, now it's your shop, bro. You know, what's funny, but usually you're on the other side telling me to you're critiquing me. Tighten up. Tighten up. That's another thing about hey, being Lewis, adaptable, hey, man. Boom, boom. You're the king of adaptability too, man. I take pride in that. And, and we, pride in remember that. how I told you earlier about how sometimes when Johnny corrects me, like I have no ego even though he's younger than me. Yeah. I've had to like tell you some, I've had to like step aside and be like, okay, I'm going to tell Lou X, Y, Z. And like, okay. And then I go and deliver it and you're like, all right. And I'm yeah, like, well, I... When we talk about advice, is I'm almost looking at it different now. Like if I was ever to give you any sort of advice, I think it's 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 truer if I was to tell you what not to do, because it's coming from personal experiences. Like if I tell you what to, you know what I mean? Like that's more powerful. Like telling somebody what to do. I I don't see that as being like as go left. Sure. Okay, go left. Don't but, go right because when I went right, but because it, it's X, y, it's, it's a truer form of advice. Like, hey, I'm, I, because I, again, I believe that if that's another, that's a, bro, I don't think this episode's over, dog. That's I, another. I'm sorry that I, that I keep going because I was going to shut it down. It's okay, but, but dude. I, but, it, but where I, are we at? What, 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 like 45 minutes. We got, All right, we got dude. a few episodes in here. We got a few episodes. But the last thing, going back to that, being adaptable, man, like, it, it's people. What was the last thing you said? The, me taking advice and or giving advice. I think if someone's going to tell me, what to do i don't take it as as strong in terms of the context but if you were to tell me what not to do and because if you tell somebody what not to do that is literally coming from personal experiences i think that's a truer form that's a humbling experience right that's more of a truer form of advice i remember i was gonna say you're right and the, the problem why that's not happening enough it goes back to what you said in the beginning where people are too afraid to be self-aware because they're afraid of what they're gonna find in themselves and that's an issue because if I can, if the day that Johnny gets married, right, he's inevitable. Two married guys can tell him to his face right now, you're going to have some really rough days. You might have days where you're like, this is crazy. 
this is forever or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. it, you know, we believe it's forever. Yeah, I'm sure you do too. But my point is I like, I don't have any bad days just for the record. I have bad days. And I think, I think a part of it back to the self-awareness is that you know, people are too scared to, people lack self-awareness because they're afraid of what they're going to find when they're aware of who they are. Dude, wh- is it Whitney Cummings, JLo, the, the comedian? The comedian. She's hilarious. Dude, no, no, she's funny, but she sent one of the best tweets I've ever heard. And it was like, closes out. I'll close it out. She goes, if you can't take a joke, how are you ever going to handle the truth? Yeah. And I was like, that, I fell off a chair. I, I fell down. I, I, I no, hope no, no, that, that. That's the, uh, the emo- what's the, can we like cut to the emoji? of? I got you. When I edit it, I'm going to put it in there. That. But Dude, going. That's so true, man. And that's why, that's why I think despite my, you know, my funny, happy demeanor, I'm always silly and always cracking jokes and making fun of people. Like, mind you, I don't make fun of people. I make fun of people, but I make fun of myself the most. You know, that, that's that's why I love kind of the social media stuff and I'm having more fun with it because I am I feel like I'm making fun of myself. So you, you, by doing that, you're it's absurd. Of, but you take away the power of others making fun of you. Like, I, I get it. This is just... That's, that's how I defended myself. I never got bullied, but like I, pre- I did preventative care when I was in middle school because I knew that I was the scrawniest kid. So I was like, you know, I was like, if anybody... And I never had to use it, but if anyone tried me, I was like, really? You're going to... Oh, you're going to beat me up? Great. Like, my little brother can beat me up. Like, you feel better about yourself now? I like that. Like, my grandma can b- destroy me, dude. Like, oh, yeah, you're proving something here. I like that. One, one, one of the best scary, tactics never, I ever never saw bullies do. No, no. And and I was one of those people that always, I felt like I always stood up for everybody. Like, I, I never, I never, dude, the whole bullying thing drives me crazy. Like, that's another topic. Like, yeah, yeah, that's another sorry, topic. Sorry, I want to get into that. So. Let's not get into that. Adaptability, AQ. <laughs> cut, cut. Sorry. <laughs> the bullying, I, I'm going a whole rant on that. But um, <clears throat> cut that out. Sure. All right. Uh, you so, close this out. Ready? Three, two. So, Lou, that, that was a another day at the office. To another day at the you. office, bro. It, That's what we do, bro. It's instead of me talking to you, and now we got a camera, and I appreciate the uh, the insight. Dude, you're, you're, um, I'm thankful that we're working together. Like you've actually inspired me to take my stuff to another level, get mm-hmm. me uncomfortable. Cool. Specifically, the just doing this and my comedy career, <laughs> comedy career, which is on, uh, next on the horizon. Correct. But just honestly, just being able to just to get more comfortable and asking why, having conversations, and being comfortable being in front of the camera, like d- right, like just kind of making fun of myself or not. Sorry, yeah, like, say it that way. No, I'm not. Is no, it, I mean, you're not making it, fun of yourself. You just, dude, like it. Like there, come uh, on right. there are other things that matter more, and like I'm confident in me, bro. Like, what are you gonna tell me that's gonna like not make like, what's up, bro? You know what's cool about this whole uh, journey we're going on, especially on social media, and documenting what's going on in this, in this company is we're literally doing the same thing. We just have a camera on us, like it's being ourselves. That is the truth. showing your truth and being authentic and being able to record it. Granted, most people don't feel comfortable enough doing it. I appreciate you, Johnny, Juan, just kind of helping push it, right? Yeah. Like, you guys are here. Let's do it. If you guys weren't here, you know. And the truth is, like, I've, I've had the privilege of hanging out with you off a camera, and you're the exact same Lewis off the camera, and then you're on the camera. And I appreciate that about you. I look up to you guys, uh, to you specifically as well. Uh, I've told you this before. You're like a mentor to me. Um, I look at you and, you know, it's like a model of, you know, it's, it's a f- shape and a form of where I'd like to be in the next 10 years. You know, we're a decade apart, but, uh, I appreciate you for this opportunity, man. And I don't take it for granted. I do not. Appreciate it, man. Coffee with gas. Coffee with gas, brother. Thank you, sir. There we go. Thank you, sir. And cut. <laughs>